All right, so not last episode, but the last reaction I posted, we saw Zoro versus King. I didn't post the reaction for the last episode because um, I did watch it. It wasn't that interesting. I'm being 100% honest, there was that cool part with Red Rock and stuff. They're gonna show it in the preview. Nothing really happened. No offense. I mean, if you're waiting for the reaction, I don't know why. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a crazy episode. This one, I think, is going to be interesting. I don't think it's gonna go too crazy, but there is an interesting part that happens here, based on the title, that I do want to react to, so we get a, a, more, a better understanding of what happens between Luffy and Kaido. Spoiler alert: This episode is gonna have something to do with Luffy and Kaido. I mean, if you guys didn't guess, then. If you guys didn't see it coming, then I don't know what you're... Like, there's no one else that could be fighting, aside from Big Mom and Kaido. But, which they did address in the episode. So, there's that. But yeah, let's start the episode in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. Told you guys. It's just gonna... It's It, leaves, it literally leaves off from Zoro's part. Damn, that looks so good. Came in like a comet. It's crazy that he passed out, because I was genuinely, like, convinced he wasn't that tired. But, because it looked like he was coming in fast. Big Mom, you can't swear, alright? This is, Jesus. Luffy versus Kaido. Yeah, we got to see the glowing stuff. I'm sick of hearing gum, 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 Rock gun. Nice. He broke, he broke him out of his focus, but then he also... I think Luffy got out of focus, too. Yeah, he did. They both got tired. And then Luffy... He started enjoying himself, because... You know, they're both... They're just brawling now, which is... Is Luffy's kind of thing, right? So... When the fight gets to this point... <laughs> he starts... Uh, he starts having a good time. I mean, most shonen characters have a pretty good time when it's like... When you get to the brawling stage of a fight, it gets pretty good. Yeah. And just like any anime, it doesn't last very long. Drunken Dragon Bagua, the lawless dragon closing in on Luffy. I wonder who that is. Hmm. Maybe Kinemon? Not Kinemon. <laughs> what? I was gonna say Momonosuke, but <laughs> it was just to make it as a joke. But then I said Kinemon, I I waited myself out. I was like, "What? That's cool. You get to see it again." <laughs> Sorry, wrong guy. Damn. See, when I see lightning bolts like that, it's just. Bro, how's the island still in one piece? All that Zoro stuff happened. And the island is still in one piece while dealing with Kaido and Luffy just bang, 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 bang. They don't even touch. It's just explosion, explosion. Tug of war. Did he just give up on making his own clouds? I think he's just pulling at this point. Does no one notice the giant thing in the sky? I wanted this in the manga. Like, <laughs> does no one notice the... Like, they're all... I guess they're all... I get it. They're all busy with the festival and everything. They're having a good time. But it's just... It's a little weird, you know? <laughs> like, there's no one, like, just taking a breather. And they're like, oh, let me just... Like, come on, kid. Look, look up. You know, somebody look up. Look up and in the right direction. That's all you have to do. Like this drunk guy, right? Like he's gonna look and then he'll be like, Nah, I'm too drunk. <laughs> Bro, every, every anime drunk is the exact same. No one here, huh? Hmm. Well, this is the thing where you make wishes, right? Yeah. <sighs> I 
it's sad because like festivals like these they're really nice but at the same time when there's like this kind of custom you kind of you can kind of see like where everyone's at in terms of like their happiness right like if some people are like wish for good food you know i wish to be fed well or like my family to be fed well next coming year you know you're just like damn damn you know and it's just in some in some places like it gives you some insight it can be both good and bad it's overall good you know it's good to have these festivals it's just it just kind of hits me sometimes i'm like like you have these festivals even in places where they don't really have good living so one time of the year they can actually have a good time but it also shines some light on how bad their situation is sometimes oh wholesome and Wano is free. That wish is gonna come true. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't think any of us would be surprised. It's One Piece. It's not gonna like veer too much from the, you know, bad guy gets defeated. There's a lot of writing. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Luffy and Kaido don't shoot it down with their lightning, Jesus Christ, that thing goes so high up. <laughs> oh, they split the sky and all the th all the lanterns just get blown away. It's like, well, so much for the festival. I forget how big this dude is sometimes. <laughs> it's got the Dragon Ball effect, even for his armament hockey now. It's a good night to die. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh. It's funny. You know how disrespectful this is, by the way? That Kaido is getting drunk? Yeah. Because I'm having fun. Yeah, he's like, I'm trying to kill you, dude. No, <laughs> oh, he isn't taking you seriously once. That's... Yeah, I don't, I don't really like to drink. <laughs> what are you, a kid? You know, it is funny because... After I take you down, I have a nice... Uh, you know what's funny? It is kind of strange because Luffy is fairly young, but because of how much he's accomplished, even people like Kaido don't view him like that. You know, they view him like a man, which is funny. I mean, technically, you know, in a lot of countries, he is a man, but it's just... He's an adult, but... He's really young. <laughs> he's still 19. Bro, you're supposed to fight, man. I'm just gonna give you, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. This is Kaido for the rest of the fight. <laughs> He's gonna get it's gonna get really interesting from here on out. Drunk Kaido is different. Let's put it that way. Yeah, he's <laughs> Oh, uh, you are drunk. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> if you're gonna drink, why not let loose? <laughs> it's so stupid. Ah, <laughs> What are you doing? I'm supposed to kick your ass. Oh, he lost the cape. No. Don't use an excuse like I was drunk when you lose. Okay. 
Yeah, you gotta hit him hard enough, Luffy. I think Kaido's one of the only people that can definitely get away with this, but... Yeah. I've accepted you. Gomono! Maybe this is why he was drinking. He was like, I'm tired of hearing gum, 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 gum. I'm just gonna drink and have a good time at least. He dodged it. Ugh! Oh boy, I'm feeling good now. When was the last time I met someone who can really go toe to toe with me? Ooh, this is nice animation. Wait a minute. He's got like a darker, it's more saturated. Ooh. Lightning hammered. Uh oh. Ragnarok. Ooh, shit. Oh, that looks way more painful than I expected. Jeez. Oh. Bro, he looks like the first time he got hit. Oh. When he got KO'd. Damn. Note to self. When your opponent starts drinking... You take the bottle away from him. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I guess that's Sanji's. So that wouldn't make sense. What's Soros? It's a... Uh... Yeah. I was... Yeah. Wait. Is that from Luffy? Why do you go in full dragon form? Bro, I like the comedy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the island's all screwed up. It's fun, but at the same time, the castle's half destroyed. Damn, I can't even save my castle. Oh. He's so stupid. <laughs> you see, this is cool, though. Because at least this changes the fight. It is still kind of stupid, though. But... It took five years. It actually is crazy to think how much infrastructure has been destroyed. Like, I would be pissed if I was kind of like, God damn it. It's good that we're fighting, but it's... Okay, he's fine. Well, not fine. It hurt like a mother truck. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Are you really drunk? You guys are having fun. <laughs> I stole weapons here and there just to fund this. You formed the world's strongest army. Uh -huh. I did. <laughs> he sounds like a child. Uh, I'm on my guard. I'm so dumb. He's a big target. You can't miss him. Oh, he's depressed. Depressed, Kaido. I'm waiting for one version. I know all the... So, Kaido has a few drunk... There's one that I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for. Gomu Gomu no. Oro ro ro. Uh oh. Jesus. I forgot about the weather stuff. Ow. Damn, that hits him really hard, huh? I thought Luffy would be doing. Well, I guess it does cut everything. This is so stupid. See, the one thing about Luffy in this form, like Luffy, great. He got Conqueror's Hockey, Infusion, and all that stuff. But it's at this point in the fight we kind of realize he's missing the environment stuff. Like a lot of the yo, <laughs> leave me alone. Like he's missing the stuff where he can just manipulate the battlefield, you know? <laughs> he's not a Yonko status. Just yet. So. He's missing that part. You know. The part where he can just. Nature is like. Like when the Yonko steps in. The whole battlefield changes. Literally. Tears in his beer. The phrasing is weird as hell. I want to take anything he says too seriously. If you don't leave me alone. Take this. Don't look at me. Don't touch me.
Damn. I hate things with tails, dude, in anime. It's just cheating. It's an extra limb. Why is everything so annoying? My son ran away. He even attacked his parents. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a bad dad. I tried. I murdered everyone. Why does Yamato not love me? It is a little hard. Yeah, just just keep beating at him. <laughs> sure. Nice. Damn. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's not saying Oro Oro anymore. Uh, okay, he's back to he's back to laughing, Kaido. <laughs> Is it fun to struggle over life or death? Isn't it fun when you don't know if you're gonna die? You're fighting for your life. I kind of miss Luffy with the cape. He did have to lose it at some point, but I miss him with the kid. I think you like me too much. <laughs> now he's back to crying. Laughing, crying, depressed. No, laughing, angry, crying, depressed, crying. There's another one. I'm waiting for that one. I'm waiting for this. this. <laughs> Take this, you drunk ass. Ooh. That was good. That was a clean hit. <laughs> this feels like more of a pirate fight. See, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Tails are cheating. God, oh, the forehead. That's cool. That's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> it's just like... We went from anime being two beams clashing to foreheads. His hockey is getting stronger. Well, I guess he's more relaxed, so it makes sense. He's he's able to focus more on what he's doing. Kind of. Well, not focus, but stop trying to sober me. Drunk in rage. Ooh, that looks sick. Whoa. Man, Toei's doing too much. Come on, guys. Even in the manga, this wasn't supposed to be this good. This wasn't supposed to be this good. They're just showing off at this point. Gatling? I think it's Gatling. I think it's Gatling. I can't remember. Ukamuna! Yeah, it's Gatling. Kunda! Bay, play, bay, play, let it rip. Dragon Swarm. This is the first time we've seen Kaido actually use a Gatling move. That's cool. Sick, man. There's been like five... Yeah, I was gonna say, there's been like five beam clashes here. It's like in like Ninja Storm or whatever, or like any anime game, where it's just you get those clash moments. And you're like, face off, face off, face off. I feel like they have more stamina now than they did earlier. Well, I guess we don't know how long they were fighting for it before with all the Sanji and Zoro cuts. They might have been fighting the whole time, like a long time. Well, I mean, they were fighting the whole time, but... No way, what? Huh? I didn't expect this. Hmm. This is after the reverie, right? Okay. Who would imagine that battle? Get that intense. One intense. Oh, are they talking about Wano? 
Uh, I think you underestimate the pirates. Well, I don't think of that devil fruit. They don't say it here. Yeah, I was going to say it. They don't say it here, right? Oh, boy. The Marines are at Wano. Okay. They're not going to show anything here. Oh, there it is. That's not the only thing in Wano. Something else showed up. Bro, these guys are so dead. Bro, why do you need why do you need the binoculars? Bro, put them down. Cog it. The shadow. Yeah, you're dead, dude. We saw what happened to Jack. These guys are dead. Yeah, they're dead. That fruit? The Gong Gomuno! It hasn't awakened for centuries! Remember, Bala giving that devil fruit another name. Uh oh. It's not called the Gomu Gomuno. It's called something else! Remember when. Oh, okay. To hide its name from history. Ooh, ooh, that has a lot to drop in one episode. Jesus Christ, Toei. Too many spoilers. But, um, yeah, no, on a more serious note, um, that was a lot of information. That was a lot of information, actually. But, uh, yeah, remember with the Awakenings, um, with Doflamingo, his Awakening affected the environment. Most Awakenings that we've seen have done something in terms of powering up what already exists within the Devil Fruit. So, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of, okay, I know a decent amount of what happens, uh, because we're at that point in Wano where I paid attention, right? I'm pretty excited, though, because what we saw in this episode was wild. What we saw in this episode made me go like, okay. Even for the drunk stuff, they're going like, they're just like, yeah, we're just going to show off that we can do this stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. You're kind of scaring me now. Because <laughs> now I'm like, damn, there's a, uh, this, 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 the fight's going to get really serious, isn't it? We haven't even finished Big Mom's fight with Law and Kid, so yeah, things are going to get crazy. They're going to get real crazy. Um, But yeah, so I mean, the Awakening, the problem is, is that... At least for anyone who doesn't know, which no one put down anything down in the comments about any spoilers. I'm dead serious, guys. Come on, let's let's let let's not ruin this for anybody. But the Devil Fruit itself, because the name of the Devil Fruit is not the Gomu Gomuno. If you didn't see the silhouette, they literally showed the color and everything. You know it's Luffy's fruit. Because they said they lied about the name, we actually have no idea, at least at this point in time, what the Devil Fruit could even be like when it's awakened. Sort of. We, we don't have any real theories. I mean, it has to relate to the rubber thing still, kind of. Because Luffy, for the most part, has proven he's rubber. You know, I mean, it's not like the fruit is a complete lie. The name is just not right. Because if you think about it, Luffy with NL, or Eneru, he didn't get shocked by electricity. He's made of rubber. He stretches like rubber. He, you know, he heats up with friction. The same way, he's stretchy, the elasticity and stuff. The consistency is the same as rubber. Um, the conductivity and everything, same deal, right? So, it's an insulator, all that stuff. So, with that in mind, the Awakening probably does go somewhere in the same direction as Doflamingos and other Paramecias with the same idea as being an Awakening. I don't know if we ever got it revealed that Katakuri was an Awakened Devil Fruit or not. I have no idea, actually. I don't think he's Awakened. Um... I don't know if it gets mentioned later on. I can't remember. Uh, if you guys want to put it down, if I forgot. But regardless, most Awakenings seem to like, at least the ones that have to do with like a certain element or consistency with them, seem to have that theme where like they change the environment into that. So 
we assume Luffy's devil fruit is going to make things rubber. So the things he touches or the environment around him is rubber. I don't know about the things he touches. We're not too sure about that. But like Doflamingo, like the the debris, like the buildings and everything turned into string, right? So it might change things. You know, it, well, it will change things. It might make Luffy a little better in the fight. You know, maybe he can mess with Kaido's balance if he awakens his devil fruit in this fight. Um, if not, we'll see. But um, in terms of anyone he's fighting, you know, it might ruin their balance a little bit. But most of all, I at the time of this, obviously I know what the awakening is. But at the time I was thinking, technically, if he makes things rubber, it would help him a lot more in terms of using the battlefield to his advantage. Because Luffy already does a lot of like momentum things. Like he'll stretch his thing, like his, his limbs out and then shoot him forward, right? So instead, he could also like use the like things he's standing on to like push himself back and then string himself forward so he can make himself as fast as like snake man for example without having to go into snake man but i mean gear second already kind of does that there's a lot of things you could theorize but the point is they actually showed it in this episode which is pretty crazy it's pretty cool i was waiting for drunk kaido i didn't think they were going to do this so it's cool uh i messed up the timing i guess i thought this was later on but Nope, they, they, they told us right here, which is, that's pretty cool. I'm getting kind of nervous because there's a certain week where I won't be able to react when the episode comes out. And I'm hoping that's not, that's not going to be, uh, which weekend would it be? It would be not next weekend, but the weekend after. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about that. No, no, no. No, the weekend after that. So two weekends, I'm good. But the weekend after that, I can't react. So I'm hoping episode 1067 isn't a very important episode. But at the trajectory we're going, I'm really nervous that it might be. And I'm kind of scared. So I'm going to hope and pray that it's not. But if I missed anything in this episode, or if there's anything you're looking forward to, not spoiler related, uh, anything you've enjoyed, you know what to do, put it down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this and the reaction in the One Piece videos, you also know what to do. Like the like and smash on the sub button, all that YouTube stuff. But till then, I'll catch you guys in the next One Piece reaction. I hope you guys have a good day. Take care, peace, and goodbye.